Welcome to Vinex Studio. Let's start making games. Hi and welcome. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to destroy a game object in Unity. Now, Unity has a simple function called destroy to destroy game objects in Unity. But there are some small tricks and tips that you should know before using them efficiently. So, for example, we have a cube and a sphere here. So, let's add a script to the cube. We'll call it to destroy. Now let's open our script in Visual Studio for editing. Now we have our script here. We don't need these two using functions. Okay. Let us destroy using the start function. So we don't require the update here. Okay. So we all set. We just go destroy. this if you give destroy dot this it will destroy the script not the game object so let's see what it does let's go back to unity so now we have the script attached to our cube game object and the script is called to destroy so when i play the game the cube still remains but the to destroy script has disappeared so if you want to destroy the cube, then you have to make some changes to the script. If you want to destroy the cube, then it should be this dot game object. Now that means it will destroy the game object that is attached to this script. So let's go back to Unity. Now if we play the game, it has destroyed the cube. Now there are more uses to the destroy function. For example, you can destroy components in the cube. So let's say, let's see the cube has a box collider. So let's destroy the box collider. So in order to destroy a collider, first you should get it. So it should be box collider. We'll call it call. Then in the start function, you have to get the component. Call equal to get components box collider okay so here you can sorry semicolon and here you can just say destroy call save the script let's go back to unity unity is loading the script and now as you can see the cube has a box collider when we play the game the box collider is destroyed you can also destroy other game objects using the script. For example, the script is in cube. We'll try to destroy the spear game object. So there are two ways to do it. The first one is using a public game object. And uh, we'll just assign the game object to that in the editor. And in the destroy function, so we don't need this. In the destroy, we'll just say destroy spear. So if we go back to unity, since it was a public function, there will be an option for adding a game object here. So just drag and drop the object that you want to destroy. In our case, it's a spear. So let's play the game. Now it has destroyed the spear. So the other way to destroy game objects is to find them. So say you don't want to do this and you want to find the game objects during runtime. So you can just give destroy, you can just give game object dot find and in the brackets you have to give the name of the game object so let's go back it's spear let's copy it let's paste it here and now if we go and play the game the spear is destroyed so these are different ways of using the destroy function so depending on your game requirements, you can use it as you want it. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment box below. See you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.